Hello, my friends. Dr. Angelica Christie here. I hope you had an amazing and beautiful holiday. Well, the first part has passed, right? And the second part, of course, is the next weekend where we have the new year coming in. This is a time where nicotine, alcohol, and food releases dopamine in our brains. It increases our satisfaction level, but making us addicted to sugar and alcohol. While well, alcohol is a very fast delivery of sugar to our brains, we kind of beat nicotine for years now. Hardly anybody smokes anymore, but sugar consumption has been rising for decades now. And the faster something affects your, your brain, the more addictive that substance becomes. Many processed foods are treated in a particular way, way as if they are pre-digested. So the speed is maximized uh, to your brain, which then releases the dopamine, right? And we are manipulated and hypnotized by clever app advertising that reaches deep into our subconscious mind. Even though we know that processed foods aren't healthy, we can't really resist the temptation, especially during the holidays. We indulge in foods high in fat and sugar. Half a century of food trends created an environment where 50% of foods that American adults consume are ultra processed often optimized to hit the body's fat and sugar sensors to release dopamine, resulting in today's high rate of obesity. And that dopamine, of course, is what the um, manufacturers want because you want more and more of those foods. So we know that processed foods are designed to make us reach for more. When we eat fat and sugar, sensors in the mouth send a message to release dopamine in our brains. It's that same feeling that runners get, and they call it runner's high, a feeling of pleasure. A secondary sensor in the gut registers fat and sugar that signals the brain to release dopamine just the same, which creates that same pleasurable feeling. So when fat is detected in the upper intestines, the message is carried up the vagus nerve, which controls several unconscious functions like digestion and breathing that you cannot stop um, by, by will. They are just automatic. So you see that it is not your fault to become addicted to certain unhealthy foods because you are not consciously aware of what it does in your brain and the consequences for your health. So to sum it up, food rich in fat and sugar can increase dopamine and it increases dopamine by up to 200% above normal levels. But sugar is absorbed really quickly. That's why so many people are addicted to alcohol because it gives you that immediate high, while fat takes longer. But if we eat or drink something and don't get enough pleasure from it, what happens? We'll eat and drink more until we get that pleasurable feeling. And it takes more and more food and more and more alcohol or sugar pops. You know, all of these cans, the, the sugary pops to reach that same feel good level that dopamine provides. But here, please don't beat yourself up for being unable to stay away from addictive foods because it's hard to do. The reason is that our biology is ancient and works against us in our modern days of overabundance, which is one of the reasons why we have overconsumption. So what can you do instead? Just like you must learn what makes you reach for a cigarette if you ever were a smoker or an alcoholic drink and if you were an alcoholic. Learn what triggers your desire to turn to these foods and drinks, whether it's a certain emotion, whether it's a certain place or a certain time of the day. For me, drinking water works or doing a fast exercise like walking outside 
a fast outside um, walk on the beach maybe, away from sweet temptations. We discuss all of this in so much more in my uh, Facebook group, which is called Your Radiant Life, Radiant Life Over 45 Club. And you find the link right under here. So please share this with your friends and with your family, because next time I will speak about what you do with those problems, with those issues, what you do with all of the sugary leftover maybe from the holidays. Okay, until we speak again, this is all for today. Bye bye for now. This is Dr. Angelica Christie and have a make it a beautiful day or evening or night wherever you are. Bye bye for now. <music>